What's going on, the friends? My name is MJ38, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. We're all up last time. We defeated Volkner of the Sunny Shore Gym, and now in this part, we are we could take on the Pokemon League right now, but I have decided that I'm going to go back and re-explore the Sinnoh region now that we have every HM in the game. Um, so we're gonna start off by. Uh, heading south of Sandgem Town, and there's a whole route uh, directly below us. Uh, um, now that we that we can explore, now that we have Surf. <clears throat> so, um, if you are just interested in, in if you're playing along with this playthrough, and you're only interested in just going through the game, then this video isn't that important. Um, as uh, it's going to be mostly optional stuff, but um, some of the stuff is can be helpful as uh, we're going to be getting some pretty nice items as we get through the part, as we get through this place, at these places, um, as well as some just in general really cool things to to look at. Uh, so just like most videos where I, where that are like this, I will be speeding through the video, and uh, there's gonna be a lot of editing along with some music. So I am recording like the video like this. Um, so the most important HM to have when re-exploring the region and uh, taking a look at some nice things that are uh, that you can look at that are like you know not required but just really cool and are somewhat beneficial is surf um every anytime you see large bodies of water or just any kind of body of water and uh there's usually some items that are only obtainable when you when you surf when you surf for them and then sometimes there's even just optional routes like this one that you can um explore so that's what we're t taking a look at here um you might also notice that as we're fighting some of these trainers, these some of these fights, or at least all these fights, aren't really that exciting because you can fight these trainers and explore this route as soon as you get Surf, which as a result means that some of these trainers are just really low leveled um, and we're just over leveled. So, um, yeah, as a result, these fights aren't that exciting, but we're I'm showing these fights off just for the sake of it. Every little experience helps. I, I like hoarding experience and when it comes to playing RPG games. Um, but yeah, I don't normally like fighting swimmer trainers because they usually, like, are kind of unexciting. It's just, like... Kind of the same kind of water Pokemon that you would fight on water, um, and then sometimes they're they like take a while as well. Uh, so there's a few different plate part. There's a few different ways that you can explore this route, and uh, I just showed off like one way. Uh, there's a bit of a dead end. But there, but there was a trainer there, so it was worth fighting her. And then I'm going to be showing off this second way, the middle path. And then there's a top path, which I'll explore after I get out. Because I have to get out of the route anyway, so it'll just be worth it that way. So, we're almost through this uh, serving part. So we just got to get past this trainer here. And uh, right there, you can get yourself uh, protein. Which uh, is now useless because um, all my Pokemon are actually all at pretty high friendship now uh, and high EV stats. So he's got to affect this fisherman, and then we will be on our way to the main part of this route. So uh, almost done here. We're gonna take out the Spinion, get some experience, and there we go. And now here we are, off to this part of Route 221. 
Uh, so in Route 221, the new Pokemon that you can find in this route is Skuntank, uh, which is only found in Brilliant Diamond. And uh, Skuntank is the evolved form of Stunky. Um, so the option is there. So this route, there's a few more trainers that you can take on while, while you're here. So just as Ace Trainer, which again, not very exciting because this is a trainer that you, these are these are battles that you could have taken on much earlier. Uh, but um, I mean even then, like, there's not really much of a reason to fight these trainers as um, as long as you're sticking with your main team, then it's like really easy to be over leveled. Um, just due to the fact that how the experience share works in this game. Alright, so after the Phoenix Trainer right here, we have this place right here. This is called the Rominous Park. Which, uh, or in the original games, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, this was called the Pal Park. Uh, the Pal Park does not exist anymore, and instead we have uh, Rominous Park, which is basically similar to the Pal Park, where after you beat the game and you obtain what's known as the National Dex, uh, which is um, an item that, which is an upgrade Pokedex that allows you to get Pokemon outside of the Sinnoh region, and then you can find Pokemon around the game that are that you wouldn't otherwise find here in the Sinnoh region um, at least in the original game I don't particularly know how it works I, I don't know if it works the same way um, but you'll get a sim but I believe you get similar results uh, according to my own research um, so that's there we can't do it right now as we don't have the national decks and we haven't beaten the game. So now we're, we're pretty much done with that route. So while we're making our way out of this route, there's a, there, we're gonna take, we're gonna show up the other way to uh, go through this route, uh, but backwards. And there's that, just that one trainer right there that we gotta just take care of, just like that. And that's pretty much that entire Southern area of Sandham Town. And now we're gonna go back here in the Orbra Gate, and we were once here before, but we are going to go back here for the second time, or well, technically third if you want to count the first time that we were here in Orberg, uh, in order to make our way to Orberg City. And now that we have the bicycle, we can get that TM, which is the TM for Brick Break. It's a really good fighting type move. It breaks through to protect. And then if you have Surf, then you can Surf across the water, and you can fight this Veteran Trainer right here. So again, um, unexciting fight, because it's a fight that you can take on much earlier in the game. But we're going to show this fight off anyway. Oh man, that's sturdy. Wow. Nice Graveler. Okay, there we go. There's uh, this Veteran Trainer out. And now we're going to see what's going on here in this side. There's a couple items you can get here. Such as an Earth Plate, which will raise the power of ground type moves by a small amount. And then you get the TM01 for Focus Punch. It's a fighting type move. Very powerful if you can, suc if you can succeed in landing that move. Basically, you, ch you spend a turn charging. If you get hit, then... You lose the focus punch. You can't do any. You just and then you just lose the turn. But if you manage to hit with focus punch, then it does a lot of damage. Um, so it's a really hard move to strategize with it, as you got kind of have to be lucky. Uh, so now uh, there's a couple items that we got there in Route 204, and then now we're gonna go to the Ravage Path, which is the the area in between the two parts of Route 204. And now that we have Surf, we can go ahead and Surf on this side of the cave. And uh, get the TM right there for Water Pulse. Which is a water move that sometimes 
lands confusion on your opponent. And now we're going to go to this side right over here. Get the luck and sense. Then we're just going to go ahead and make our way out of here. Uh, now that that is basically everything here in the Ravage Path. Uh, if you go over here uh, to past Florima Town here in Route 205, we can go ahead this way. Uh, that's going to take us, if you go there, that area is basically uh, like the second half of the route before Eterna Forest. But then if you head to this area right here, then this is the other part of the Florima Meadows. And in this part right here, there's a lot of hidden items. As If you just basically just um, examine every single tile, you're going to get so many items. Like right there, you can get yourself a Super Potion. Basically, like, there's very likely... You're very likely to find an item in these, like, flower... In, like, the... At the, like, the dead end parts of the Flower Patch Mazes. So, <laughs> um, one of those items there is a Miracle Seed. Which, if you're using a Grass-type in your team, then it's a really good item for them. It has a boost the power of Grass-type moves. And then if you go ahead and head around over here, uh, you can get some berries here. Citrus berries, weepier berries, and uh, Cupsy berries. And then there's also some wall Pokemon out here in the grass. If you are interested in uh, catching anything here, the only new Pokemon that you can find out there is Luxio, which is the evolved form of Shinx. And you cannot find any Pokemon in inside the Fuego, the Fuego Ironworks at all. Um, which I thought for the longest time you could, because places like this looks like you can you can encounter Pokemon, but no, that's not the case. So to get to this place, it's basically like a a maze, kind of. We have these panels that will move you to different places. And then there's also uh, workers here that you can take on. Um, now you can now this is the Fuego Ironworks, and Fuego means fire. So you can find like fire type items in 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 this place. Um, but I don't believe the trainers here use fire types at all and there's not really like very many fire pokemon which actually brings to attention there's not very many fire pokemon that you get in this game at all um which i don't really have much of a problem with that uh but that was definitely really hard to like when i was planning out my team especially in diamond and pearl in uh platinum you had much more options for fire for fire types but not so much with diamond and pearl and definitely not so much with this game either um i mean it wasn't that much of a problem uh for me as i was guaranteed i i knew i was gonna use chimchar so that was already a guaranteed fire type but like if you're not if you're not using a chimchar then yeah you don't really get very very much options for fire types all right so you got the tm 35 for Flamethrower right here. So that's one way you can get Flamethrower for free. And then, if you make it to the very end, then you go to that guy who's called Mr. Frego. And he will, he's gonna be like, uh, the panels make everybody dizzy and it's frustrating them. Um, <laughs> and then he'll give us a Firestone, which you can use to evolve certain Pokemon. You can get a, 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 a an Arcanine, if you have a Growlithe in your team, for example. And then if you go to the Valley Woodworks and surf around, then you can get the TM for Thunderbolt, which uh, I believe Casper can learn it. It's it, it can learn Shockwave, so I can imagine it can learn Thunderbolt. Um, which I'll consider later. 
And if you go outside around Eterna Forest, you can actually cut the trees. And then you can explore this little part right here. There's a lady that'll give you some stickers. There's some berries. And if you cut this tree, then you're off to this part here in Route 205. And then um, if you go back inside Eterna Forest, now that you have cut, then there's this strange looking building here. And we're gonna go ahead and see what's inside here. So this is the old chateau. The old chateau is the arguably the creepiest looking place in the entire game. Um, you can't hear the music, but the music is very ominous, um, giving that little creepy atmosphere. Everything looks really weird. Um, you can find mostly ghost Pokemon in this place. It's mostly like Ghastlies and Haunters, though. So, not much of a, <laughs> a variety there. So there's nothing in this particular room. And then now we're gonna head over here. So there's about five rooms in this place. First off, we're gonna start from the right and get the TM90 for a substitute. And then right there, <laughs> that's a little creepy. There's a little portrait right there with red eyes that will not turn red when you're looking at the portrait. But then it'll like not be red when you're looking at it. So um, right there, that um, TV is actually will play some significance when you beat the game, but we can't do anything about that right now. So as you see right there, one of the weird things about that place is there are these, there, there, sometimes you'll meet these people and they are ghosts. Uh, so we just saw the butler there. There's also in the, in the five rooms, one of those rooms, there will be a, a, a little girl, uh, which um, I wasn't able to show off because I wasn't sure how to trigger her. Um, but yeah, there's a butler. Nothing happens. You just see them, like, just move. And that's pretty much it. So now, if we go past Cycling Road, and, um, cut the tree under and to go underneath the Cycling Road, then you can explore this cave, the Wayward Cave. This is the other- this is the second part of the Wayward Cave. Um where you need strength in order to, in order to uh, explore this place. Um, and now that we have strength, we can we can explore the, this part of the Wayward Cave. Now, uh, there's one new Pokemon that you can find only in this part of the Wayward Cave, and that is Gibble. Um, <laughs> very common to use in <laughs> for, as far as uh, what as far as like Diamond and Pearl teams go from LPs I've seen. <laughs> is that they use Gibble, um, and that's because Gibble evolves into Gabite and then the Garchomp, and Garchomp is massively powerful in this game. Uh, very worth using if you are interested. If you still haven't gotten a a six team member yet. Uh, so now here we are back in uh, Mount Cornet, and there was one cave that we couldn't explore because we didn't have Waterfall. So now that we have Waterfall, we can we can get that, and then. And, and then over here, we couldn't get inside this cave earlier because team, there was a Team Galactic member blocking this the first time that we were here. But this takes us to this other part of Mount Cornet, which if you go out here, this will take you to this route. And if you keep going to the right, then it'll take you back to Slice of Town. And then if we go uh, to the... this is the route right before Hartham City. And now that we have Waterfall, we can go ahead and see what we got going on over here. Which, uh, this will contain Carbos. Alright, and then if we go ahead and make your way to the route after Hartham City. Uh, this right here, I didn't actually know until this recording. That you can actually explore down over here and surf down and get this TM right here, which, is, which contains Giga Drain. Um... Very powerful absorb move for a grass type, so it's definitely worth teaching to a grass type that can who can learn it. 
And then over here, this is the fog route, the, uh, right before Slussy Town. And there's a few places that we can take a look at here in this route, now that we have Waterfall. So, um, right here, you if you use Waterfall right down over here, you can get some, you can get a jar of Wave Incense. And then, if we get out from the Waterfall area, and continue along the path shortly, and use Rock Climb to get down and above over to this side, then you'll be greeted with a new trainer uh, called a Dragon Tamer. And Dragon Tamers use Dragon Pokemon. And uh, Dragon Pokemon usually are kind of scary to deal with because they resist a lot of types and they have a pretty powerful moveset, usually. Um, but, um, you know, we didn't have much to worry about with that fight right there. Uh, that house right there uh, has a lady that will teach you uh, a very powerful move called Draco Meteor. And if, so if you have a dragon type that can learn that, then it's uh, really good. Unfortunately though, Draco Meteor has a very unfortunate side, side effect uh, that will punish you pretty hard if you use Draco Meteor. I think it like lowers your attack by a lot, or your defense by a lot, uh, something, something like that. Uh, but anyway, um, in, uh, if you surf in Pastoria City, then, uh, you can get Mystic Water, which I taught right away to Ivan, uh, because Mystic Water boosts the power of water moves, and that'll be really good for Ivan. And then there's a few items that I got from surfing in the, in the bog route, and um, then, if you head down over here in Candlelight City, this I didn't even know that you can even surf down here, but you can get the TM89 for U-Turn, a very good bug type move that uh, will switch, swap your Pokemon out. It's a really good competitive move if you're, in, if you're into that. And then uh, finally, well actually not finally, but um, if you head to the snow route um, before Snowpoint City. There's a there's a rock climb wall that you can climb. And uh, there's a few trainers that you can fight here. And um, normally I do this right after I take on Candace because it's just it's just nearby Snowpoint City, but um oh well. Um but yeah, um so we're basically like almost done with um, everything that I want to do. Uh, actually, this is basically like everything that you can do before uh, beating the game. Um, so we got a couple more trainers left to go here. Uh, so just this trainer right here who has a Roselia. And um, as soon as we um, fight this trainer, we're going to get a pretty decent item. So go ahead and take her out just like that. And this item is a uh, mental herb, but and also an HP up. I think we actually already got it. No, okay, okay. There's still one more item. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> mental herb and HP up were not the... The, we're not the decent items. HP up at this point is pretty much useless for me. But, um, for making our way all the way over here, we got the TM13 for Ice Beam. So, there we go. Um, with that, that is basically everything that we can do before taking on the final part of the game, and that is Victory Road, the Pokemon League. So, Next time on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we're going to be taking on Victory Road. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.